Well, thank you all for coming. We're going to go ahead and get started um, with this month's mayoral employee recognition event. Uh, today we're going to recognize the Employee of the Month for March 2017. We're also going to recognize a team of employees that are recognized for their efforts to implement a new computer program and system. And then um, we have a couple of other employees who have celebrated a milestone anniversary of of the, as a member of the city's team this month, and so we'll recognize them as well. Uh, to, to start off with the Employee of the Month, um, I mentioned every month the Employee of the Month is somebody that um, as an all-star, it makes our, our life easier. They, they come up with more efficient ways, more effective ways for us to deliver our services to our constituents. Um, they, they uh, by and large, just make coming to work a pleasure. Um, and and um, they're, they're part of the sunshine on what can sometimes be cloudy days as we, as we do our tasks. Um, and so this month is, is no different. Uh, the March 2017 Employee of the Month began his uh, employment with the city on January 17, 2006 as a project manager and was later promoted on September 15, 2014 to Building Construction and Facilities Manager, which is where he continues to serve today as a member of the Public Works Department. Here's what was written in the nomination. I should tell you a, a little uh, intro into this. There were multiple people that helped contribute to this nomination this month. So this. Uh, what I'm about to read was composed by more than just one author. Robbie consistently goes above and beyond what was required to get issues accomplished in, in a timely and accurate manner. Whatever needs to be done, he ensures the project is completed, often on short notice or with pending deadlines. He is very meticulous and always engaged to help solve problems. Robbie has always been willing to go the extra mile when necessary to make sure the job is done the right way. This has never been more evident than when Robbie, hel Robbie helped resolve a lighting issue at the Roger Scott Athletic Complex the day before youth baseball opening day. When it appeared that we had exhausted all avenues to repair the damaged light pole, Robbie helped come up with a solution to get the lights working <clears throat> before opening day. He took the lead on making sure that the repair happened by pulling all the necessary parts and people together to ensure that the lights were working. This repair allowed youth baseball to be played that weekend. Robbie is a valuable, reliable, and dedicated employee. And so for these reasons uh, and many others, we're going to recognize Robbie McGuire as this month's Employee of the Month. So Robbie, if you'll come forward. <laughs> Robbie, you do it all. Did you wear that red today on purpose? Yes, sir. <laughs> so I could be right here by you. <laughs> Man, you <laughs> You're like a politician. <laughs> my power time. I'm watching too much Fox. Power time. Thanks, sir. Robbie, you are. Um, Robbie's amazing. Everyone knows that, right? We all know that, right? I mean, every t for as long as I've been here, Robbie, I'm sh kind of shocked that I've been here seven years, right? I know some people want me to leave, but not yet. <laughs> but, Robbie, I mean, every time I have an issue, Robbie's like, I got it. This is what he does with his right hand. I got it. I got it. And he doesn't even, he doesn't smile, he doesn't smirk. It's always just like, like this look right here. I got it. I got it. I got it. So, your colleagues, myself, and everybody, and most importantly, the public, appreciate what you do, Rob. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, man. I almost called you last night. Did you hear me last night? I snuck down here last night, last night yesterday afternoon, and I saw Robert. Where's Robert? There's Robert. Poor Robert. Where's Lori? Is Lori down here? She probably went home. But uh, anyway, yeah, she, wasn't so she went to get her kayak. You know, chit chat downstairs. Not that everyone wants to hear this, but this is just <laughs> life in uh, government. And so um, I go up to the seventh floor, and I just, the water's just coming down. And everybody was sunny, right, yesterday? Am I correct? And so it was just a flood on the seventh floor coming down. I'm like, man, this place. Is, I'm, I know, I knew it leaked. And not literally, you know what I mean? So, or no, I knew at least literally. Anyways, Robbie, we almost called you, but he might have called you, but I didn't call yeah, I got, you. We, we, yeah, we had a brain and stopped up for some reason. All right, no worries, everybody. Anyways, I had to let everybody know that. I said, I'm not calling Robbie on Sunday, and Robert was cool as a cucumber, and I guess for some reason I must have been sedated. So. <laughs> they got it. Robert <laughs> sedated. I don't know. I think tell more often. <laughs> All right, well, congratulations. Um, we had several other employees who were, received a nomination this month. There are actually two other employees, and so I want to mention their names um, just because being nominated is, uh, is, uh, is um, 
an honor in itself. And so Laura Major with the Pensacola Police Department was nominated and Annette Waters with the Pensacola Police Department was nominated. Um, so let's have a round of applause for those ladies. <laughs> Fantastic. <clears throat> um, so I, I ask that we please continue uh, to, to keep those nominations coming in for, um, for the Employee of the Month. Um, I don't have any for next month, um, and, uh, and so, but I look forward to those. Um, and, and so it, it takes just a few moments, but I've, but I've mentioned before about the impact it could have on somebody's career if they're having a tough time or if they're maybe they're smiling, but inside they're, they're asking themselves, why is it that I do this? And so just a little bit of enforcement, a little bit of encouragement that we're, you're letting them know that what they do actually does make a difference, um, not just to our constituents and our customers that enjoy our services, but also to our peers in making life, um, making life better. Um, all right, so we're going to go on to recognize our next group of employees. Um, and so at, at these meetings, I talk about constantly striving to go the extra mile and doing things that catch the eye of our, our customers, the citizens, uh, make them proud to live, work, and play in Pensacola. And this next group of individuals did just that uh, by helping ensure that a new system was implemented to be used by the city administration, city council, and by our citizens during our city council meetings. As you will see or hear, the assistance came from individuals in a, a variety of different departments and divisions uh, within the city, all of which played a, a, a huge part in making sure that the implementation was a success. Here's what was written in the nomination for this city team, um, or this team of uh, city employees. This team of six employees was instrumental in the selection and implementation of the new Granicus Agenda Management System. Granicus compiles the agenda, uh, council agendas, displays the meetings, and produces the records. It brings together three different and aging systems into a single platform. Trudy Nichols led the project with vital help from Erica Burnett, Robin Tice, Keith Wilkins, Yvette McClellan, and Chris Johnston. This interdepartmental team defined our current processes and built the new software requirements to function as necessary for staff and council members. This involved months of reviewing and testing to develop a fully integrated legislative workflow management system. Their hard work shows the, in the quality and ease of use for city staff, council, and our citizens. And so for these reasons, we're gonna recognize with the Merit Award, uh, the team, our, our Granicus implementation team. So Trudy, Erica, Robin, Keith, Yvette, and Chris, if you'll come forward for your plaque, please. <laughs> I know this system was a drama, so I know y'all all work together, and I know y'all are ready to pull each other's hair out, but uh, thanks for what you did. Dude, See how they all like do this? I mean, I figured that deal out. It's all Trudy, I'm telling you. Good job, Trudy. We could not have done it Trudy and I had a meeting last week or the week before, I mean, and she was just thinking and smiling. I'm like, man, is Trudy like this all the time? So obviously you are. So thank you. I know it was a team effort. All right, and so next we're going to recognize, we have uh, one employee that we're going to recognize uh, having a milestone anniversary this month as a member of the city's team. Um, and so when I call your name, please come forward for your one-year certificate. 
And that person is Hope Lunsford with Pensacola Police Department. So, Hope. What's going on? Yeah, I like that. Mr. Mayor, she said that she's had 23 years part time and one full time. So, I thought about that count. 23 and a half. Hey. And with me, you can probably like triple that, right? <laughs> We had one other individual that had a, uh, an anniversary this month, uh, but he's assigned to working nights at the airport currently at a five-year anniversary, um, and it's Kenneth Guare, um, who's, like as I mentioned, he's assigned to Pensacola Airport. So let's have a round of applause for him for his five-year anniversary. <laughs> All right, and so lastly, we have one more person present that we're going to recognize, and this person is going to be making the transition from city service to retiree life. Ooh, right. After 36 years, six months, and 20 days of dedicated service uh, to the city of Pensacola and to the Pensacola Police Department. So please help me recognize and congratulate Captain Steve Johnson for his service both to our organization and to the community. You gotta give a speech though, Steve. Come on, man. The speech is coming. Thirty-six and a half years. We gotta come Friday. I got one. All right, well, gotta come Friday for the speech. I can't believe it. Got it. You don't want to say anything right now? Not right now. We got the speech yeah. coming Friday. <laughs> All right. Other than there is a party coming Friday too afterwards. Not the police department party. My wife's throwing a party on New World Landing. Anybody here would like to come down and party with us for a little while? That's the time. To Is it open really, bar? Yep, it will be open bar for a short amount of time. <laughs> so we don't get everybody leaving there. Should I get there? So, a short amount of time and a couple drinks. Uh, wow. I just want to say um, everybody knows Steve. And I mean, I kind of knew Steve before I was a mayor. But Steve is just... Um, you're the epitome of a professional and we talk about public safety every day and any mayor across the country or the world for that matter it's all about public safety and we know that and what you've done for our community and for the youth and just you know being there and walking tall but really smiling and being in law enforcement isn't easy and none of us that have not been in law enforcement couldn't imagine that and we haven't walked in your shoes but we know uh, everything that you've put into it for the great city of Pensacola and um, you know, having folks like you represent us is incredibly important. I was down in South Florida last week and just I went around to a lot of different cities and interacted with the different law enforcement, but uh, nobody has, no other city has anything on us. And, and you're what uh, is a, a shining star in our organization, so thanks a lot. We're going to miss you. Thanks. All right, sir. All right. Um, there was one other person that's going to soon be transitioning into retirement, uh, and he was invited to attend but was unable to attend, um, and that's Mr. Mike Miller, who will retire with nearly 17 years of service with our organization. Uh, so let's have a round of applause for, for Mike. All right. Um, each time we have one of these events, it means it's time for you to submit your nominations again. So uh, I can't stress enough that I need your nominations or we need your nominations to, uh, to have a, uh, an employee of the month and, and, and to keep the process going. Also, it, it may be a little confusing right now because I'm sending out multiple emails, but it's that time of year again where it's time to refresh who sits on the committee to review your nominations to help select the employee of the month. Um, and so while I need your nominations, for the employee of the month for April, and I'll be sending out an email soon for that. I'm also, I've already sent out an email that has a survey link for those of you that have computer access, and there's a hard copy form that's attached if you'll pass it out to your employees that don't have access to uh, city email for them to complete to nominate names of individuals that they'd like to have serve on the employee of the month review committee. Um, and so those nominations can be made through this Friday. Um, once all the results are in and I have the results in, then I'll create a ballot and I'll create a second survey and send out a ballot for everybody to make uh, selections. So our current committee has one more month to serve. They will pick the April employee of the month, but then uh, your votes will select who sits on that committee moving forward. So please do, if you haven't already, please do uh, provide your feedback so that it can be your peers that or someone you're comfortable with that sits on that committee. Um, Mayor, do you have anything you'd like to share? So how's everybody doing? Good. Are these my notes? 
I'm just kidding. So, Tim and Brian, Ciclavia was like a big hit, I hear. I mean, Parks and Recs, you guys, the engineering, y'all knocked it out, Kim. So, did it, who went down to Ciclavia downtown? No, nobody. Um, <laughs> does everybody know what Ciclavia is? Well, I was kind of panicking, to be honest, and so, like, I escaped. And I'll tell you, it's so, so funny, Kim and, um, and uh, Brian, I've had, like, all these phone calls and emails, but everybody obviously enjoyed themselves because a lot of the retailers were freaking out, and I was getting the phone calls, and we don't want to shut down Power Fox. But truthfully, I, like, I think this might have been the biggest uh, feedback, um, positively, that I've gotten, you know, when we've shut, down, shut anything down in the city. So that was a big deal. So... How's it, who had spring break last week besides, I guess Aiden did, but nobody, when is everyone's kids out? I mean, you had, all right, Erica did, all right, Robin, you did, okay, good. Well, listen, so I'll make it real quick. I want to, you know, Steve, 36 years, big deal. So, uh, again, thank you, that's, that's tremendous. Uh, Robbie, tremendous. Um, everybody, tremendous. So I went around to a bunch of cities last week, and you know it's hard for me to sit still, so might have been a couple different words exchanged between the three of us in South Florida, but... Um, Anyways, I looked at a lot of cities, and I want to tell you, our city just smokes them. And I know South Florida gets all the attention all the time, and that's what kind of makes me crazy, as y'all know, with um, Pensacola being the driver in Northwest Florida. But um, our, our city is just amazing compared to other cities. So I want you to know that. You know, what you, when you wake up in the morning, you're like, what am I doing? You're having a bad day. Um, what you're really doing is you're, you're doing incredible things for the citizens of Pensacola and hopefully for yourself and you're getting a lot out of it. And I just want to thank you always for what you do and stepping up because Pensacola, I can promise, they don't have anything on us in South Florida and uh, I'm pretty competitive and I want to say y'all are amazing. So again, thank you for everything that you do to keep us safe, keep the roads open, Derek, uh, taking all my complaints for me, thank you. HR, thank you. I got a letter from the state on the finance. Thank you, Cheryl. But anyways, thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful week. All right.